Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem foldable binary tree. Here we are given a binary tree and we just need to check if it can be folded or not. Now let us quickly go through the prerequisite. The first prerequisite is binary tree. Now what is binary tree? Binary tree is a tree which can have at most two children. That means the number of children can be 0, 1 or 2. Not more than that. Now what is folded? Folded is nothing but if you have this then if you overlap with that it should have the same structure. Okay. Or you can think of it as the mirror part. Like this side should be a mirror of this side. So if you observe this side is farther away from that side. So this would also be farther away. This is also farther away. This is farther away. So we move forward and we see some more examples. Like this is also. So if you just bisect this from the root. Then this is also a foldable binary tree. Because this side is also this side is also apart. This side is also apart. This side is closed. So that side is also closed. So if you just see. See if this is folded. So see this is folded. So if you just fold it, then this side which is closer will be this side and this side is larger. So if this side the distance is equal to x, then this side should also be distance equal to x. This is what is being told. Now let us see some example which is not a foldable binary tree. So again we would bisect it from the middle. So now you would see that if you just fold it, then this won't be. If you just fold it now, so you would see that there is no element at this position. Okay. And this side also there is no element at this position for this element also. Now to solve this problem, you can think it of that way. That see the root is being distributed to both of the side. So if we just ignore the root, then root left, if it is present, then roots right should be also present. Now for this children also, if this right is present, then this side left should also be present. So I can say that if left's right is present, then right's left side should also be present. That is how the structure would be seen. And if the left's left side is absent, then right's right side should also be the same. So if these two condition, like if this is null, this should also be null. If this is having some value, this should also have some value. If this is null, this should be null. If this is having some value, this should have also have some value. Like see, if you just see this, this and this. So this is what? Left, this is right. So left's right. And this is what? Right's left. If both are present, then only this would happen. Okay. And then this side would serve the purpose for this side and this side. That is why. So you can just think of it in this way. Okay. So now we would just need to check that from the root, we would go to the left side and to the right side. And if it's left, right is present, then right's left should also be present. If left's left is absent, then right's right should also be absent or vice versa. This is the most simple solution to this. So now let us move to the coding part and you would understand it much better. So now we were bisecting from the root. So if the root is only not present, okay, or if the root is only null, what would be the scenario? So it is told the empty tree is considered as foldable. So I would just say that if root equals to equals to the null value then what we need to do is we need to return the value true now if the root is present then only we would do for the left and the right part so now let us have this so now what we would do is we would have bool of rec okay and then we would do node star left and node star right this is the right subtree this is the this is left subtree, this is the right subtree. So now the very first condition, if both are null, then we would return 0. Okay. 
that left and right both are null we would return zero so i would say that if left equals to equals to if left equals to equals to null and right is also null then we would return a value one okay we would go down now at this point both are not null okay so if this is the scenario that one of them is null like left is equals to equals to null or right equals to equals to null this is the kind of smart implementation i can say you this like see if both are not null then only we would come here so we would know that both is not null so if either of them is null then one is having that value just try to think what i'm just saying okay and then we would come here and then we would say that if this condition is there then we would return zero like one is having some value and the other one is null okay and then we would say return rec of what was there left's right okay left's right so we would say left right and what right's left so we would say right's left if this is true that means this side is also true and the next condition should also be true so we would say left left of left and right of right so we would say left of left comma right of right of right okay if both the condition are true then only we would return so if both the condition are true it would return one else it would return zero we would just come here and we would just call it so we would say return rec of root dash left and root dash right let us just compile and run and see how many mistakes are we making so let us just try to submit this and see what would be the verdict and yes we got an ac so let us also talk about the time complexity so basically we are visiting each node exactly once that is why the time complexity of this approach is big of n and the space complexity is big of one because we are not using any auxiliary data structure so if you were here till this point of the solution consider liking the video and commenting on the video even as small as possible with a just understood or one thank you and have a nice day